Hi, I'm Andrew, I run bettersheets.co, and in this video we are going to go into ChatGPT. We're going to see if it can actually help us automate Google Sheets, automate spreadsheets. So um, I have a sheet.new here, literally went to sheet.new, started a new sheet, and then started realizing I probably should start recording this. What are we going to do? Well, here's the thing. I have used ChatGPT over the last few weeks, and I actually used it to create a brand new Google Sheet add-on, if you can imagine that, go up to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons. And if you ever are creating Google Sheets and you wanna create a new sheet, but you don't want 26 columns and 1,000 rows, you want maybe one uh, cell, you want a tiny sheet. So I created tiny sheets. Let's see if this exists. There it is. You have to have the space, tiny space sheets. Install, if you're an admin, you can install it to everyone. I'm gonna just hit agree. And what it does is it allows you to literally create in one button, create a one by one cell. That's not that hard. That, that wasn't that hard to create. But what it also allows you to do is delete all of the rows and columns that don't have data in them, that are beyond the data range. And how I got this, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'll come clean, I'll tell you the truth. I actually was going to create this, I, I knew how to create the one by one, but I was like, ah, I won, and I have an idea of the app script to create, you know, here's some data. I, I thought, okay, I know how to get the last row, I know how to get the last column, and max rows and max columns, and then just delete from there. I knew how to write that script. But when I went to ChatGPT, I was like, I, I literally said, I wonder what it will do. And I said, write a Google app that will delete, delete all rows and columns without, col I have to spell columns correct, without data, without data. Part of this video is I'm gonna show you is I wanna show you how to use ChatGPT and the code in here and how to accurately read it and use it in your sheet. So if you have a business process, if you need something automated, there are a couple more things than just the code. Now, I actually cover that in a course on Udemy called Spreadsheet Automation 101. So as this is typing out, I'm gonna click over and show you this. It's not a free course at all. It's actually $99 right now, uh, but it goes through in three hours, 29 modules. Actually, I think there's 30 or 31 videos total. Everything you need to know about reading and writing app script, and then also triggers, which is truly how you automate Google. All right, so. This is telling us how to use the script, but let's go and read it and see if we can decode it, you know, and, and wonder what's going on. So the first thing it says is function delete empty rows and columns. Why this is all one word is because a function needs one word function, but what you can do is use camel case, which is each word within this sort of long word, delete empty rows, the camel case has a, uh, Every word is capitalized, but there's no spaces. And what the key point out of this that I got was this get data range. Now, in Google Sheets, there are about 400, uh, 501 or 502 formulas. You can go into a sheet, type in equals, and there's 501 of those. But functions in Google Apps Script, there are like thousands because it's like, it's not Google Apps Script, it's really like a flavor of JavaScript. So it was this get data range that I found out from ChatGPT. And this is a little more code than I expected because the last time I did this, it was not that much. It didn't, you actually don't have to do all this, but let's see, this is what it spit out. What I see here is it's a function, that's correct. We need the variable, the sheet, the sheet that we're on is the active sheet, that's correct. The range that we want, this get data range, what it's gonna do is it gets the last row that has data and the last column that has data and it creates a range that you can say, what's the last row, what's the last column and then delete everything else. Get values. Don't think it really needs to delete. I don't think it needs this get values to delete them. So I wonder what this does, let's see. It's hard to see what's going on here because in ChatGPT, it doesn't highlight the syntax correctly as it does. So we're gonna copy this code. It makes it nice to copy the code. We're gonna go over to extensions, app script. Now this is probably what the point you're trying to look for is like, where do I put this code now that I have it co the code? What you wanna do is you wanna take everything that's in here, which is just gonna be function my function, you can delete that, and then command V to uh, paste. And here now we have, we have the syntax and the coloring, good. So I'm gonna save this, save project. The first time that it saves, it takes a bit of a, a moment or two, like a, a pretty long time 
Every time you save after that, it won't take as long. All right, it says delete empty rows, and it has a for loop, which in Spreadsheet Automation 101, I talk about how to read this for loop. i equals values.length minus one. That's weird. That's a weird way to do a for loop. You usually just do like i equals zero. I don't know, you don't really need to do all of this code. But in Spreadsheet Automation 101, I go through how to write and read a for loop, and we use for loops there, and it has a for loop inside one, which says j here. This one is more particular, is more on it, but I don't know why this var is here. Usually you just have to do i equals zero, semicolon, i is less than the values, whatever length. It has the i in here, and if it's empty, row is empty equals false. Oh, and true, and then delete the row. Okay, so this is probably gonna work because it just goes through each row, is the value, is it, is it empty, delete it if it's not. Good, so this sort of will do what it says it'll do. It'll delete empty columns and empty rows, but sometimes you don't want to do it. So you don't want to delete all the empty stuff. You want to delete all the unnecessary ones outside of the data range. So that's what Tiny Sheets does is if we have data here, let's have some data. And let's say we have this the row is empty. We don't actually want to delete this row. We just want to delete 15 and down, row 15 and down. And here we want to delete D across to the right. So if we go up to extensions, tiny sheets, and delete rows and columns outside of data, see, it just deletes the rows and columns that are outside your data range. Whereas this code from ChatGPT will just delete all the empty ones. And, and sure, what was the prompt? I write a Google app script that will delete all rows and without data. Yeah, exactly. It did exactly what I said here. Um, Let's write this again. Let's try to say more specifically what I want to do outside. Write a Google app script that will delete all rows outside of the range of, cool. let's see if it does it here. Range of data that's active sheet, delete extra rows and columns, get active sheet, perfect. Get data range, yes. Get number of rows, yeah, perfect. Get the number of rows that is in that data range, get the number of columns. And then yeah, get the max rows. This is doing it perfectly. Get the max rows minus the row, the number of rows, or minus last row. Interesting. Deletes rows above data range. Oh, that's cute too. See, I don't necessarily want to do that. I just want the ones outside of that range, right? Not above or to the left. I just want to the right and down. Interesting. So this is really doing what we need to do. We'll copy this code and again go to our app script here. Let's just delete that one and paste it and save it. So now in reading this, here's a couple of interesting things about this code. So if, if we have variables here, again, I go through very, what are variables? What are functions? I go through that in spreadsheet automation 101 here on Udemy, udemy.com slash course slash spreadsheet automation 101, go check it out. But this number rows here and this number columns there, if you notice they're a little uh, lighter, like they're not as black. That's because they're not used. So this code exists here, but never again. We can do number rows, search for number rows, and it's only number rows to delete. It's not the, the variable num rows or number of rows doesn't uh, show up again. That's strange for code to do. And that's usually a, a bad thing about code. If you create variables and then don't use them, it's unnecessary lines of code. Um, which is funny, it's, it's very ironic that that is, there are unnecessary lines of code in a script that we want to delete unnecessary rows and columns. So this is very interesting and what I want to do is I would like to impart to you that I don't think ChatGPT is uh, taking any of our jobs. I think it's going to allow you to do more in spreadsheets. What it doesn't tell you here, if you want to automate like, automate this script daily. How do I do that? I can tell you right away, you're going to want to execute this script as a uh, time-driven trigger. Exactly. Open Google Sheets file, contains a script you want to automate. Go to tools menu, then click script editor. That's actually wrong. I think this is an, it's using the old uh, instructions from uh, the old, right? So Google Sheets has changed their UI. Okay, so that's something that ChatGPT will probably fix in the coming years. The information that's within them yeah, so actually you can read through this. You can go and ask ChatGPT to do it, but I'll show you how to do a quick trigger. 
Um, so if we want to, if, if we run this code here, if we click run and it works, and then we want to do that say every month or every day, uh, what we need to do is over here on the left. So again, to get here, we went to extensions app script that brought us to our coding area where we can code. Over here on the left are five options. Uh, we're on the editor right now, but we're going to go over to the triggers. I'm going to have to move my face a little bit. And on the bottom right here, over here, hey, uh, add trigger, click on that. We've chosen the function to run, delete extra rows. The head is the same. You just have to change select event source, change that to time driven. Now here's a little bit of weirdness. You gotta do day timer. Now, you're gonna get not a specific time, but you're gonna get an hour to choose from out of midnight to midnight. You get to choose one hour. Now how this will run is once you select it, the next time that, that that hour comes around, it will do it at a random time. We, it's Google servers, they're gonna run it at a random time between that hour. But then after that, it should run every 24 hours. So a little bit of a weirdness, you can't select the exact time to run it, but it gives you an hour, which is for almost everything we do in Google Sheets, I think that's totally fine. And just hit save. And then, uh, okay, it will ask you for some authorization. That's fine. If we have some like spreadsheet app or something in there that we need to authorize. If you've already run it, you won't get that authorization screen. And now you have a time-based trigger. This will always run. It will give you an error. It will also give you error rates if there are errors. And you can also delete it. Let me move my face. In this three button menu, you can also delete the trigger. You can also edit it if you want to change the uh, time or anything. But thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in below because literally I'm just sort of sharing you what I saw in ChatGPT that it was working, that it was possible to create uh, app scripts and Google app scripts from ChatGPT, use them in our sheet directly, copy paste them, try it out. That's pretty cool. And I'm very excited that this is going to expand the possibilities of you using app script, that you can uh, write the app script by just asking ChatGPT. But again, if you want to understand and read and, and figure out what's going on in apps script and how to automate your Google Sheets. Look at more triggers, look at more options. I, I go through some really cool uh, little projects. Go check out Spreadsheet Automation 101. Again, three hours to watch all of the videos is like very little time to get through it. It's like a great introduction to coding and working through problems and automating your business practices. Um, and also, if you want to check out more mindset stuff um, about how, how to think about script, uh, and you're like sort of struggling through learning to code or you're you're copying and pasting a lot of code, check out this video over here about mindset and app script. I think it's gonna be very good for you. Thanks for watching and please ask any questions you have about ChatGPT and automating Google scripts down below. Bye.